guys. I'm out here with my sweet armored jacket. On this beautiful fall day. I know a lot of people have already put their bikes away for the season and they're already getting too cold to do anything else like ride but now is the time to be out it's like the perfect time to be out riding it's nice and cool during the day it's like I think it's probably like 65 or something today and uh Nighttime, it gets down to like 55, maybe a little bit colder than 55. If it's if it's colder than 55, it's it's not that fun to ride in. But if you're cruising around at 55, it's it's actually pretty fun. But I'll see a lot of riders like around this time. Either try to sell their bikes, or they'll just throw some sea foam in the gas tank leave it on the charger pop it up and they'll be done for the day I mean for this season but now is like you know perfect time as I just said I usually don't stop riding till either the first snowfall or until it gets like way too cold to be able to even bear it with gear on. Usually the thing that goes the coldest on me is my hands. These gloves suck. But like if you're riding and you're riding in the woods, this type of weather is like the best woods riding weather. Like hands down, this weather is the best when it comes to riding in the woods. But if you're out on the streets and you're like cooking it and you're not really sweating too much it's not even worth it to you know be out on the bike this person couldn't have came out any further into the highway I mean into the lane that I was in but in the woods it's perfect the woods you go you know you can ride for like five hours and still not even really sweat too much or get too high and exhausted. Which is why I like to ride in the woods during this time. But with my work schedule, it's, it's kind of tough. Because I only get two weekends off in, the, in a month. And this month, I got, I'm working every weekend. So, I mean, it's a good thing because I get paid overtime for any weekend after two but it sucks because I don't get to ride as much that's all right tomorrow it's supposed to be nice and tomorrow I'm off it's Saturday so I only work Sunday this jacket this is like the first time I'm actually wearing this jacket it's an X element jacket from uh, I bought it off of Amazon it was like 80 bucks it's got protective um, armor plating in it it's got reflective like all the silver stuff is reflective I don't know if it shows on the camera but all the silver is reflective it's got little flaps that open up so that you can get air into your arms and into your chest it's got pockets it's got uh, a spine protection armor elbow and shoulder the only thing I'm not liking right now but I, I kind of like is the it's got like a turtleneck and right now it's just like stabbing my Adam's apple but I'm sure if I wore it a lot it would get softer but even now that it's stabbing my Adam's apple it's like super annoying and I don't want to be annoyed while riding a lot of times I like I bought this jacket it's a triple XL Normally I'll wear like XL sweatshirts. So I thought if I bought a triple XL and I had an XL sweatshirt on, that it would kind of, you know, fit nice and snug and be good.
but if I put a sweatshirt on and then this on, everything is like super tight. So with this with this jacket, if I am gonna wear it when it starts getting colder, I'm gonna have to rock like um like a t-shirt or like a flannel, a t-shirt, not a flannel, a thermal, a t-shirt, and then this. Because I think the hoodies they're just too bulky. So they won't even really work well. To go along with this jacket, of course. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll wear a thermal, a t-shirt, a hoodie, and I'll be good with that to last me for a little bit. And then if, if, if I have, I have like a couple windbreakers and I'll just throw a windbreaker over it. Because that really helps deflect the, the wind from smashing me in the chest and getting cold. This neck thing is bothering me like crazy. Every time I move my head like this, it hits my neck. I wonder if I can wear just a sweatshirt. And then have this on top of it. You know, like a thermal, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and like without a hood. And then just have this. That could probably work. Might have to try that. Because it, it's actually really comfortable. With short sleeves on and the insulation on the inside of the jacket, it's actually pretty warm. And it's pretty comfortable. You know, if I extend my arms all the way out, barely does any of my wrists show to get cold. And I can always tighten the straps where the wrist is so that the air doesn't go up the sleeves. So, so overall, this jacket's actually not too bad. I thought where I was going to be riding there'd be like a good amount of leaves on the ground that you can see like the fall weather. There's not anything. I'm going to go back by the woods that I have. A little cruise there see what the ground looks like with all the leaves out there. But the trees are finally turning color. They're looking nice too. It does help keep my neck pretty warm though, having the, the collar the way that it is. Because the wind doesn't really get up into my helmet. It'll just like smack the neck and then go off to the side. 